News you can use. News you can use. Uh, man, this weekend was a uh, dope weekend. You guys, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. A lot of things happen. We got a lot of things to cover. Uh, this morning, it's going to be a great morning, you guys. Uh, or should I say afternoon? I just, well, first of all, I want to say uh, thank you guys, like I said, for always supporting us. I always like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Ralph Yall, uh, he had an invite from Alicia Keys. Uh, she got a concert there in July. So in July, she has a concert there. And I don't know if you guys remember Ralph Yall, but he was the guy that got shot, the kid. He was actually a kid that got shot. 16 years old, went to the wrong house, he ended up getting shot, well, in Kansas City. Alicia Keys want to make it right by at least uh, bringing him out when she comes down to uh, Kansas City in July. I think that's dope, man. Shout out to Alicia Keys uh, for even uh, making that gesture, man. This kid uh, just made a simple mistake and, and he had to pay consequences dearly. He's lucky. He's blessed to be alive today. Uh, over the weekend, Knicks lost to the Heat, 108 to 101. The Nuggets beat the Suns, 125 to 107. Uh, Steph Curry, the Warriors beat the Kings, 120 to 100. Steph Curry put up 50 points, man. This guy's dope, man. But y'all stop being ridiculous. Every time somebody do something spectacular, you know already how I am about Jordan. This is a new era in basketball. Jordan is one of the, you know, he's the, he's the. The mecca, the pinnacle, the, the the hierarchy, the yeah upper echelon when it comes down to the game of basketball. I don't care if y'all get mad about that, but I had to say that's my era, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, but but Steph Curry's dope, you know. But let's be let's be realistic. But these guys, are, uh, man, they're getting ready to face the Lakers as well uh, in a few days. So this is gonna be a great series, I believe. You guys, uh, y'all see y'all y'all seen these moves before. I can't wait to check everything out this week. Who you got? Uh, Bubba Dub, who you got? I know you got the Lakers, boys. I talked to you over the weekend. You was real excited about it. Hey, man, so, uh, man, another thing, man, you got to understand what, what's, what's really going down, man. 38-year-old Francesca uh, Opisa ends up in Cleveland, Texas, shooting at least five people. And the youngest one was eight years old. So, it's crazy out here, man. You guys, man, <laughs> man, these gun, these gun, man. Put the gun down, man. Let's try to let's try to be realistic here, man. This was over something that could have been talked out as well. I just I, I cringe at the fact of how how this this stuff is happening. We have to be more responsible with these guns. Some say it was a rifle, AK or AR, but AR-15, man. This is crazy, and I just I, I just say, man. God bless all those family members that lost a loved one down in Cleveland, Texas, man. This is something that we got to do better when it comes down to taking care of our neighborhoods, man. We got to do better. Um, um, you know how I am about it, man. I'm trying to, I'm, try, I'm an older guy now. When I was young, I didn't know no better. So, hey, don't judge me. But I'm trying to do better now. So, make sure you guys, man, try to keep your neighborhood safe. It's up to us, man, as a people to come together and, and try to do the right thing. Yeah, man, news you can use, man. It's crazy, man. You can't, you can't do that but use this news. I'm telling you right now, this is the best thing. I believe the segment that I came up with was just so I could, you know, help our people to understand what's going on in our communities. I believe this is, uh, this is a show that was needed. So thank you, guys. Another thing I want to talk about that came across my phone this week, man. Shout out to Double A, man. He won a couple of Grammys, man. And I've been blessed to speak to some guys, some Grammy winners, man. Some Grammy winners, man. Double uh, A is uh, dope, man. I talk, I, I, like I said, he texts me, man. And I, I didn't know they had did a news segment on him, man. This is great, man. I got two Grammys off of going to school. People say that college isn't for them. I will tell y'all right now, just go. Message for the next generation of students here in West Palm Beach. But he's definitely a, a, a one that, that, that came on Boss Talk 101, showed us, showed the show love, and you can't beat that with a bad. He's got links with, uh, he got links with uh, NBA Young Boy. Get out of class, email to beat the DJ Swift. The next day, not even 12 hours later, video out, all my, almost had a million views. Woo! So I That's called Swift like, hey man, tell Young Boy, hey, let's do it again. He was like, all right. So he was like, young boy said, call him. So young boy called me with the little face. Hey, say. You know what I'm saying? He like, hey. He like, hey, say. Like, everything you sending hard, you hear me? Everything you sending, you hard, gangster. 
<laughs> I'm like, yo, he was like, hey, keep sending that fire, you hear me? Let's go up. I'm like, all right, bet. He do a good, yeah, yeah, like so, good impersonation. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sending the records or whatnot. I get a phone call from young boy. He was like, hey, say gangsta, where you at? I'm like, man, I'm in Tennessee. He was like, I need you to come to uh, come to L.A. So I get ready to go to L.A. I bring the whole team I got with me. Whole team come to L.A. And uh, one thing led to another. A.I. Youngboy comes out, and we did almost 80% of that album. Wow. And that was like the beginning, because I didn't, I never met him. Uh, producing beats, he's a real musician. Came in, he was a stand-up guy when I met him. I never forget the likes of him. He always, like I said, he always tapped back in. He's calls, calls, uh, check on me time to time ever since we met. You guys support his music and support his movement. He's definitely one of the guys that when I think about music and the younger generation, man, he set the bar. Uh, you can you can understand the music on a whole other level dealing with him. He's one of those guys that you just really, you can't deny he's got the true talent and he is the new wave and he come from an old school way of doing things and I just love it. Uh, he can do beats all type of ways. Me and him discuss that in the show. Make sure you go back and check that that interview out with me and Double A. Double A did a great job on Boss Talk 101. Now he's a two-time Grammy Award winning artist this was pre that and then also man I didn't you know when you think about Ice-T was another one that, that, that won a Grammy Awards hey man listen man Ice-T man I'm over here at Ice-T house man this is real serious for me man Boss Talk 101 and showed up man Ice-T man what's up man can't complain, man. <laughs> Smile, it kills the haters. Hey, man. Check it, man. Boss Talk 101 with a boss's talk. I talked to two Grammy Awards. I interviewed actually two Grammy Award winning uh, guys that one of the older generation and one of the younger generation. So when you look at Ice T, man, he he has a couple of Grammys. I, I remember I just holding them and hanging out with him and it's the things that people don't often do. He's one of the one of the few that actually won a Grammy this year, man. Shout out to all the Grammy Award winners this year, but that was a big deal. That was great for Ice-T. That was great for Double A. I just really, really like the fact that these guys are not letting up when it comes down to the, 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 the whole way that they do things. Uh, you got to understand Ice-T is not... He's not, he's not backing down when it comes down to just creating new waves, man. He got a, a new podcast that he's been uh, working on. You know, he's already on Law & Order. Uh, this guy is definitely uh, one that you can just basically look at and try to move toward being better when you look at the moves he's made in, in the times he's made over 500 episodes on Law & Order. The longest male actor running in a single series on a TV show, that's Ice-T. Ice-T was one we sat down with for hours, you know, and he let us sit in with him for like three hours. Probably the longest interview that I've done. Three hours of, of, of pure footage of, of, of this guy who's one of the guys who started off in Jersey, moved to LA started understanding, embracing the 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 things that going on in, in all type of different activities on the West Coast. This Ice T guy is not somebody that you want to uh, look over, act as if they they hadn't made a move that that changed our culture. And he brought he actually brought gangster music. He one of the first guys that I actually heard. Really, you talk about NWA, they had a heck of a movement. But Ice T was that guy that brought in that gangsterism and that, you know, the the way that the, the, the cop killer and all that stuff that he done was just superb moves, man, that our people needed to be pushed into the next level when it comes down to the essence of, hey, you know, we can be somebody, we can do something in our neighborhood. So when I sat down and talked with him, this guy was sharp, man. He even recited the whole thing of colors for me. He even told me that was gonna be a new Jack City 2, but it didn't ever come out and explain why. You better go check those. It, right now the clips are out. You can become a member on YouTube and see the full interview. Ice-T is one of the coldest in our time, and you guys need to give him his roses while he's here. Not when he's gone, but while he's here. Ice-T is one of those guys you just can't, you can't close your eyes to. You gotta recognize him, man. I don't think, I think pretty much 
that's that's kind of it. You know, you guys will see me come in and talk from time to time, but that's kind of it. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well as I am. Like I said, the first of this whole segue, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is a new segment that we do weekend news you can use, man. Yeah, I think I got it. There it is.